Hello everyone, welcome to Man Reaction Channel, Kevin Tuesday episode 6 And yes, from last episode, let's just say after the failure of the MV They move on to the next part to get the music into the public Well, let's just say they start with some sort of small gig Or say a small concert because usually many of the artists tend to offer that option Because, well, it's the best way to get the music to the audience Well, having 10 people listen to the song already is a good start uh, Well, let's just say the people they would be glad to be there Because they, they were there to hear the beautiful old song sang by Karen Tuesday so yeah, although there was a bit of a struggle to you know get their first gig because of the well because they're not even amateur, they're just like uh, uh, absolute beginners and or not even like uh, properly being managed, and so that's why and even he even with the manager connection, he wasn't able to get into like a much more like an amateur like concert. But you know, with a, a bit of convin uh, convincing from the bar manager, she managed to let them sing one song. Well, so yeah, it was a successful because everyone was encapsulated by the beautiful song, and of course, though Ni Chan was there too, and it was also be also saw the fact that his little sister is like really good at playing her piano. So let's just say, oh well, not piano, guitar. So let's just say he was he's he's captivated her song, so he let her go for now, let her uh, uh, achieve a dream for the time being. If she fails, of course, he'll come after her again. So yeah, last week episode we get to see the uh, two lovely girls have the first gig, and now in this episode, who I'm I'm being told that well in this episode today it's going to be like a big concert. Well, for, for in, in terms of Twitter and stuff like that, so. Yeah, I think this today's episode we're gonna see that those our two lovely girls go to the, the big, a much bigger big gig, and I've been told that the, there'll be additional characters being introduced, and they will be voiced or sang by the artist called Lauren Dyson, uh, Thundercat, or Flying Something. Sorry, guys, I never heard of them before, but I'm. But I've been told they're very popular in the music, so maybe this episode today may convince me to check out the music after the episode today. So I'll give them, I'll see what so how many, how many songs I've been sang to this episode today because Karen Tuesday so far I've been giving us a lot of beautiful music. So might as well get started, shall we? And yeah, sorry about my background noise. My fridge is being a dick again, acting up when I when it's important time to do reactions. Uh so here we go in three, two, one, go. Ultra Typical start Yeah, yeah, we get the we get the message already It's a miracle these two girls are gonna create and stuff like that And the story begin with these two girls And we start with the opening A typical commercial like opening, no offense of course it just reminds me of a, t a commercial like uh, uh, music. Uh, the music is beautiful as always. Hmm. Although I couldn't keep up with the lyrics, despite the fact it's in English. It's me. That's all. Apparently, the artists that sang this song they are quite fluent in Japanese too. I I don't know, right? I she also has her own uh, YouTube account. So yeah, I, I listened to some of her music and her interviews. She is quite fluent in her Japanese. So yeah, because she lives in Japan, of course. But her English is so fluent. So she's a very talented art, uh, voice actor or artist or whatever. Hmm. Mm, Karen Tuesday. Again, Tuesday is such a weird name. Here we go. Ah uh, yes, the manager trying to get the manager on his side and giving him first gift, but it didn't go so well. So they have a, like a bar uh, music, but you know, 10 people is a good start. And people are captivated by the beautiful music, even though Ni Chan. <laughs> oh yeah, he got a phone call too. So I wonder what's the phone call. Life as a carnival. <laughs> Uh, of course, this is how you feel after your first uh, concert and gig. Aha! And they're gonna use that for like uh, Instagram. 
I'm gonna see check out later. So this is only like a temporary life, I guess. Oh, main stage. So the phone call was real. They're getting a, a chance to sing in front of the big audience. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, she still fainted because she just started up with ten people. Now she has like one hundred so people. <laughs> oh, that face. <laughs> it's a big jump, I know. <laughs> Okay, they have a big jump now. It's a big jump. And she still fainted. <laughs> Joshua. I oh, guess he's. Guess they are competing against some top artists. Legendary incident by Joshua. The singing. Smash the window. Wow, he caused an incident after the, before the night before the concert. Oh, uh, okay. Wow, this guy, this artist. Seriously, Car uh, Tuesday could even move her hand because she's still shocked. Well, he's a drinker. Hmm. Wow, that was easy compared to the first encounter with him. <laughs> Bit more fans. <laughs> well, why not? I guess. I mean, with fans, it comes pressure. <laughs> I mean, the pressure is really hitting Tuesday hard. I mean, why not give it a shot? Like, uh, go for a big, go big for it once. Obviously, they don't have the like the the confidence to perform in front of a thousand people or so. <laughs> oh, I love Tuesday's reaction. Can't sleep. Yeah, of course, man. Why would? How can you sleep after you heard that news? She's self talking. She's self talking. <laughs> No, she's 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 full of stress right now. Well, yeah, might as well get productive at night. Have a girls' p mini party of making music, and they can fall asleep from then. Let all, let go of the stress. See, it worked. <laughs> a lot. Oh, that's a good alarm way. The life of work, I guess. Well, at least it says that. that Part. Oh wait, they're not late. They're not late for work. They're late for the concert. <laughs> Aha! Performing the train. I mean, I, if if it's not causing too much of a fuss, then why not? So they're performing a carnival. Oh my god! Wow, that's a lot of people. I mean, who who has a carnival in the middle of a desert?
<laughs> well, yeah, this is looks so professional indeed. Oh, he's here too. Self looking through the mirror. <laughs> I knew it. Self lover. <laughs> Well, he's here, that means this is gonna be. Uh, <laughs> well, hey! Here we go, guys! Some amazing music coming our way! Oh, he's a DJ after all, so let's jam it down! I always, I always want to run, want to visit a music festival. Even during my time in England, I never got a chance to come go to a festival because it's does it doesn't fit my schedule. So yeah, I always want to go to one. Oh what? Uh, oh oh yeah, he has incident. Oh yeah, he has incident. <laughs> That's why you see his hand, blood, and stuff like that. Ah, uh, he's yeah. Uh, <laughs> see, <laughs> he's not even probably ready yet. <laughs> Try to have some imagery practice right now. <laughs> I mean, I don't blame them to be honest. I mean, this is the first big concert, so of course they have to be nervous. I'll be the same, the same situation too, to, to overcome it, to have a, like strong mental uh, um, practice, like m imagery and stuff. Oh, I'm trying to push, get the, don't get the girls encounter with the. Oh yeah, because of what happened in episode two or three, because he had some bad experience with those two girls. So yeah, better not not like come in contact with him. Oh no! Why are you run the uh, run back the other way? Well, that's a good way to hide. Oh, okay. Wrong cabin. Wrong cabin, I guess. Oh, they went to the wrong cabin. Oh, shit. Uh, of course, there's so too. Skip -poo. Oh, wow, man, this guy. Uh, okay, is, is he giving them uh, like a harsh advice or something? Cause it looks like he's just telling them that they're, no, they're not ready yet, if I interpret it correctly. Oh, 
Oh, uh, let's see. I think he's the first singer. Let's see how, how is he, he's going to do. Oh, wow. Look at that girl. Ah, oh, here we go. First music of the day. Let's see how good he's he singing. He's singing. Come on, be in English so that I can understand it. Violin. Okay, this is a change. This is new. Oh, okay. The voice, the English voice doesn't really match his character in the, in the voice acting of the Japanese, but I guess the, at least his music is good. I have to say, the voice, the mouth opening doesn't match the part that he's singing, but. Uh, yeah, as long as long as singing is good, it's okay. One like you, not bad. I mean, which uh, artist is it um, that sang that voices voice him right now? Thunder Dog or something? Quite a calm music. I thought he would be like jamming down with his guitar and stuff like that. I guess, I guess it's like a, some sort of good bass music. Wait, that's it? That's it? I thought there's more to it. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah, oh, the pressure's on. Come on, write something in your hand and eat it in your house. Like what many uh, Japanese tend to do. Write the human and. Oh. Drink it up. Wow, she, in one go. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! Did you did, did she just drink beer? Oh uh, oh no! People are not impressed. They are not impressed because these they don't they never know about these girls and stuff. But can but can you say? Oh yeah! Tuesday drunk. That that means you can may sing a good song. Oh my god, dude, this is wrong. They're throwing stuff on stage. Uh, oh my god, really, guys? Come on, this is so wrong. They're throwing stuff on stage. Listen to the music before you start booing. Dude, people are still throwing stuff. Come on, man. Are they expecting like that guy from the cabin or something? Dude, at least the the I'm, I'm the, the song is more like they're forcing out, forcing to out to sing. Oh, they stop throwing. Oh no, they're still throwing. I mean, seriously, man, disrespect. What? Oh 
my god. Guess they're more ready for this guy. Wow, that's a bus. I think they were expecting some some art strong jam or something. Not the best start to the music career, I guess, or in terms of getting the audience. Hmm. Well, Crystal. Oh wow, she's impressed. At least a popular artist reckon, reckon, recognize this song. I mean, every artist have a rough start to their career when when they perform the music. People tend, people may not be interested. Yeah. They're not giving up, that's good, you know. Ah, it's Crystal. She, at least she's like, rec at least she rec uh, rec uh, rec uh, sort of recognized this music. Oh, -ho! okay, wow, nice. Okay, now this is something I tend to listen. This is the sort of music that I would love to listen to during my during exercising. Oh yeah! Now this is the sort of music I like. I would put in my iPod. Like a ball. Oh, me now. I want to feel. Guys, make sure you guys support them by uh, by checking out their Instagram account. And yes, I give a like too. So. Support them in the Instagram account too. I feel if you have the dance, if you Call me now. Call me now.
ปมโอ้ว้าวอันนี้ที่นี่เพลงนี้ดีมากเลยที่นี่ So this is I have a lot to say about this first the first time in a, a big concert. Well, I, yes, I'll be doing a review in this video too because um, well, quick review of course. So let's just say in back my back of my head, I would say that Karen Tuesday so sort of not get the best. Uh, they, I think I don't think this carnival or big concert sort of suit their sort of music to for the audience well yet of course. I mean they just they just got the first small gig to and. And the and that the sort of music sort of suit more like a like a more bar like music, but when you just throw them to on stage and and perform the sort of music, and well at least Tuesday was drunk, so she wasn't very, that nervous. So that's why she was go she was able to like sing her heart out without like str um, struggling to sing the lyrics. But uh, but the people throwing stuff on stage, how disrespect! I mean. They were expecting the other artists. I mean, they were like, I think Karen Tuesday was like covering for him. I think they were covering for him. But you know, he he came out and just ruined the the spot. I mean, I, in 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 a small way, they sort of, he sort of saved them from much more embarrassment. People were like, say, boo, get out of here. Your music is not what we're expecting. So in my opinion, just listen to the music before you start throwing shit on on the stage. My God. So disrespectful. I don't like it when people just uh, thought you're just like so bad. Uh, people just think, oh, you're not him. Get out of the stage and just throwing stuff. Oh my god! Without even properly listening to it. I mean, I, it's the manager's full force. I mean, I have to blame the manager a bit because he just somehow give them this. I mean, I I don't blame. I I would say that he's trying to give them an opportunity to sing a much more bigger audience. But what happened to a slow process to get to the Big stage. I mean, from from just ten people to a hundred or thousand people, it's a big jump, to be honest, in my opinion. So, take it slow. I mean, he just he really, I mean, he just go. He went for the opportunity because of this some um, unforeseen incident. So, yeah, Karen Tuesday was so nervous. I love it when Tuesday just fainted and just like just so nervous and couldn't sleep. I mean, at least they were able to roll uh, like a new music and stuff like that. But seriously, a carnival, a big concert. I think in my back of my head, it. I, I I when I say that I say oh well done you guys go on big stage when my back of my head is that it's a bit too early for them I mean they had they haven't really mentally prepared they haven't properly they at least they don't experience them themselves like in, as an audience and go I mean and they already experienced them uh, they already got the first hand experience of what to be on big uh, on a, a big stage but they did not have the best start to the prop uh big uh, big performance because they got bad experience from people throwing shit on them. Or on stage and stuff like that, telling to fuck off. So, wow, unbelievable. And that that uh, F Freddy guy, whatever, just I think he gave them a, a harsh advice saying that the music would not reach the audience and something like that. So, but I don't believe so. I, I believe it's with time, with experience, with uh, confidence, they can really rock it out on stage. And yes, Crystal sort of acknowledged the music, so that's like a good, like a positive feedback from. Uh, a very popular artist giving them some good advice, make uh, like sort of keep them singing because they were. I think they were crying. They were. I think uh, they were. They were going to go into depression, but with her uh, encouragement, they were able to like, stay motivated and hear her amazing music and able to keep, move forward. Now they just need to move forward and forget about well, sort of keep the experience, but forget about what happened on stage and stuff like that. Use that experience to make your song, your song better. So I think this is like a a setting stone for for the next. Next step to make the uh, to make some good music, cause I mean just throwing them on a big stage is a big jump to be. And it's a big, it's a huge step for them already, especially for Tuesday because she just literally just ran away ran away from home and she hasn't probably have the ex uh, experience to like sing, uh, sing in a much more uh, in front of a big audience. Ten people is a, is a good is enough already. Get to twenty, get to thirty, get to forty, get to fifty. Excuse me. So yeah, I would blame the manager for uh, uh, because uh, for a bit because like he just forced they just throw them on the big stage without giving them a progressive um a progressive step to to gain there. But he just like oh okay we have an opportunity to go to sing in front of a thousand people go for it. I mean the concert just didn't, I don't think the the carnival the concert so the songs are sort of uh, like real like the, the sort of taste they were expecting from that from the music from that carnival. So I would say. They they already disappointed a lot of people, and if the people saw them on stage again, 
they will be disappointed, of course. But let's just see how they go going on from there. I think they're just going to take the advice from the Crystal and use it to, the, to the push them forward to to making an, a better the music, music better. Also, like um, add a bit of rock to the music, of course. But in the end, they ha they have a tearful uh, moment because of uh, because of what happened in the stage. But it's a good experience for them to to know that being a, being an artist is not an easy step. It, it it's a being a, a sing a art a singer and stuff like that is a it's a much it's they have a long hard role ahead of them. It, it's not going to be an easy role, but they, I think uh, with, with with their hap um positive attitude. They can move forward. So I was, yeah. Nothing's easy in life, to be honest. Nothing, no job in life is easy. You think singing is just like, oh, I, you sing a good song and people are gonna acknowledge you? No, you need to be consistent and be able to learn from your experience and make your song better. So yeah, hopefully Karen Tuesday can move forward from this point on. I think episode six moment is just uh, let them know the harsh of harsh reality of being an uh, artist and they can use that experience to, to make uh, the song better so hopefully next episode we're going to see them use this uh, experience and positive uh, ex um, experience, uh, positive um, outlook and, you, and make the song better so hopefully you guys enjoy my reaction and review to this video um, to, to this episode today and subscribe to my channel for more reaction content give a like and enjoy my reaction and I'll see you guys in my next reaction video for Bungo Street Dog coming up next but actually that will be tomorrow t tomorrow, and I may do a special reaction tonight so we'll see so other than that I'll see you guys then